gentlemen, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for always joining me for these devotionals. Today we're in Daniel chapter 6. I'm going to read verses 17 through 18. So at this point in the story, Daniel has been thrown into a den of hungry lions. And we know that they're hungry and starving because of what happens a little later in the story. But here's what happens next in verse 17. And a stone was brought and laid in the mouth of of the den. Sound familiar? And the king sealed it with his own signet and with the signet of his lord. Sound familiar? That nothing might be changed concerning Daniel. So I keep saying this sounds familiar because it should be familiar. It happened to Jesus when he was sealed in his tomb by Roman officials. Then the king went to his palace and spent the night fasting. No diversions were brought to him and sleep fled from him. So Darius, King Darius, follows through on his legal obligation, but it's not without some profound regret. And we learn that he hopes the outcome of, of this whole situation will change because he actually returns to his palace and isolates himself from people and provisions. I mean, he's going to spend all night tossing and turning in his bed, laboring over what he has done to his trusted friend and confidant, Daniel. You know, when, when I've been in situations like this, my mind won't quit. I will dwell on my sins, uh, the desires that persuaded me to sin, how my actions have impacted others, what I'm going to do to reconcile them, and how I can avoid them in the future. And I am sure that Darius does the same. I'm sure at some point also in the evening while he's tossing and turning in his bed, he reflected on all these matters, but I'm also sure that he perceived the malicious intent of these officials and determined that he would never let their trickery entrap him ever again. But there's good news. <laughs> this predicament brings two men together spiritually. Right now, at this moment in the story, there are two men that are both fervently fasting and praying. One is in the den, the other is in the palace. One is the victimized, and the other is the victimizer, and they're both calling on God to be their salvation. So I want to offer two applications for two different men today. First, for the victimizers out there, or the Dariuses that are listening. You know, if your selfishness and sin have affected another, and you're willing to confess and repent, you need to know salvation is available. Now, you may have to live through the consequences of your actions, but God can save you from your sin. What you need to do today is call on God to be your salvation. Just humble yourself and call upon him. Now, second, for the victimized or the Daniels that are out there, you know, if the selfishness or the sin of another have impacted you and you know it, then don't retaliate. Don't do it. Just trust God. He can and will vindicate you. And remember, he may be using the trial that you're experiencing to bring the one who has victimized you to salvation, just like Jesus did. So trust in God through that test. Your response might be the evidence that that man needs to believe that God will save you and him. Guys, I love you. I hope this has blessed you today. If it has, share it with someone you know. And with that, I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.